now still on differentiation as we have said differentiation is wide uh, especially i uh, will say calculus is wide that is differentiation and integration i uh, must finish everything on that so that if proper pro possible this week i should finish everything on differentiation we will try our best but it's wide that's why i'm doing the video constantly now this one is implicit differentiation now for implicit differentiation you will have s and y together but yeah most people use um, a long method to do this especially this implicit but yeah we're going to be using a short and fast approach now for example let's say before i will solve let me give you some illustration let me say i have x square plus 2y square minus 3xy plus s raised to power 4 let me say i have something like this if i ask you to differentiate only x please take note differentiate only s in this expression as in pick out the x only and differentiate it do you know if i want to differentiate only s i have s and y together here yeah. yeah differentiate only s you will have what 2x don't touch y as in i'm doing only s that means if i differentiate x squared i'll get 2x you know we've done this one now plus the next expression is 2y squared but what i what did i say i am differentiating i am differentiating only s but here yeah, is there any s no since there is no s everything there will be zero if there is no x so everything is zero because i'm differentiating only x now followed by so that means this will be plus zero then minus now if i want to differentiate s here differentiate 3s you know i'll get 3 so to remain y as in i'm differentiating s so i'm doing 3s to remain y now plus plus now differentiate s raised to power 4 since we are differentiating only s so i can do that one that is 4x raised to power 3 that means this one is not um, a question for now what i just want you to do is that okay out of all this expression differentiate only x so that's what we are doing now this expression again differentiate only y we are differentiate only y you know this one will be like s square this dot is times that means times one you know i'm differentiating y now what is y the y will give us one so plus now differentiate 2y square since it's y we are differentiating so i can differentiate 2y squared that will give me 4y yeah so now differentiate y here to only y that will be plus 3 Yes, no, I would leave three S. I would differentiate only Y, which is one. Now plus what do you think this one will give us? Since we are differentiating only Y and we have only X, so it's not nothing is there. So that means it will be zero like that. So please take note of that illustration. We are not solving. This is not an example. So now let me give another one. Let's say I have two S squared y raised to power 4 minus 3s y raised to power 2 plus s raised to power 5 minus 2s raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 7 now in this expression differentiate only x as in anywhere it says differentiate only x that means the first one here is 2s square so that will give me 4x as in differentiate only x so i will write my y because s and y are together it is when the alphabet stand alone that you will write zero but if it is s and y that are together just differentiate the one you need leave the other one okay yeah i said differentiate only s differentiate 2x square we get 4x so i did not touch y is power 4 minus here we are differentiate only x that will be 3 you know it's 3s so that will be 3 then i will leave y square plus now this is x and i'm differentiating s so i'm free to differentiate that will be 5s raised to power 4 minus here again is x we are differentiate that will be 8s raised to power 3 then plus 0 y plus 0 this is y and i'm differentiating only x
I hope you get now differentiate only y. We are not solving example, please take note, but just follow instruction. Now differentiate only y. Now that means I'll pick this one. This will be what? That will be 2s square as in times 4 ra y raised to power 3. I'm doing only y now. So I'm differentiating only y. So that will be 4y raised to power 3. So plus, you know this is the 2s square. I still leave it. Then I differentiate y raised to power 4. I get 4y raised to power 3. Then minus, I will leave 3s again. Then differentiate y square. That will be 2y. Then plus s raised to power 5. Since I'm differentiating y, and this is only s, it will be 0. The second one also will be 0 because it's only x. I'm doing y. So, but this is y, so I'm free to differentiate. That will be 7y raised to power 6. Like that. Is it clear? So, let's take one more of this illustration. Please take note, it's an illustration, not an example. So after this video, the next one I will now carry example. So, but just make sure you know how to differentiate separately first. So now let's say I have s square y plus 2x y cube plus y raised to the power 4 minus 2x. So I want to leave this one for you to try. So another one is um, 5s y square plus 7s raised to the power 4 minus 2s square plus y raised to the power 3 minus 7. So now let me leave this one for you to differentiate. Now what are you going to do here? In the first one, differentiate only s, do it separate. Differentiate only y, do it separate. It's just illustration. Please follow the instruction. For the number 2 also, differentiate only x. Also, differentiate only y. So try it first if you get the score.